I should warn you, I'm kind of famous here. You do know you're famous everywhere, right? What if meeting your heroes... I'm Carol Danvers. ...was crazier... ...than you ever expected? Captain Marvel is in our house. On November 10th... Yeah. How are you feeling, Miss Marvel? I was born for this. Marvel Studios, The Marvels, rated PG-13, in theaters November 10th. Tickets available now. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. It's been a long while since I did a movie review. I think the last uh, movie that I reviewed was uh, Gran Turismo when it came out, you know, when it was still in theaters. So, it's been a long while. But this review is going to be on The Marvels. And the film stars Brie Larson, Tiona Paris, Iman Vellani, I think that's how you pronounce her name, uh, Zawi Ashton, uh, Park Seo Joon, and Samuel L. Jackson. And I saw the film yesterday, and I had fun with the film. Uh, it's not uh, Marvel's best film, but I got some enjoyment out of it. I know it had uh, one of the lowest openings for a Marvel film uh, when it came out last week. But this uh, film is a, is a sequel to Captain Marvel, which I uh, enjoyed Captain Marvel You know when it came out. I saw it in the theater. I liked uh, how it took place uh, in the 90s. And also, uh, the film is a continuation of the uh, miniseries Miss Marvel, which is on Disney Plus, which I really uh, enjoyed Miss Marvel. I had a lot of fun with that uh, miniseries. Uh, but if you guys haven't seen Miss Marvel, uh, definitely uh, would check it out. And I have to say, if you did not watch uh, the Miss Marvel series, uh, don't go and see this film because uh, watch Miss Marvel because then you get. You know, the backstory of Kamala and how she got uh, one of the other uh, quantum bands. And, you know, you meet her family. So watch Miss Marvel first uh, before checking out this film. And if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, watch that film and then check out, you know, this film. But basically what the film is about is Carol Danvers, who is played by Brie Lawson. You know, she's Captain Marvel. And, you know, Monica Rambeau, played by Tiona Paris, and Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Miss Marvel, who's played by Iman Volani. And they end up teaming up, and they begin swapping places with each other because, you know, every time they use their powers, you know, they're, you know, in a uh, different, you know, world. And pretty much uh, the villain is Dar Ben, who is played by... Uh, Zawi Ashton, I think that's how you pronounce the last name, and Darban is the new leader of the Kree, and she retrieved one of the quantum bands, which Kamala, you know, had the other, the other half of the quantum band, and so Darban harnessed the power of the quantum band to tear open a jump point in space, and pretty much it's basically, you know, Captain Marvel and also Monica and Kamala, you know, teaming up to uh, go after Darban. And pretty much that's basically uh, what the plot to the film is about, you know, without giving away spoilers. But like I said, I had fun with the film. I know some people are mixed, you know, on the film after checking it out. But I really enjoyed the chemistry uh, between all three women, you know, uh, Carol Danvers, Monica Rambo, and Kamala Khan. You know, great chemistry with each other. You know, Brie Larson, you know, is just very likable as, you know, Carol, Captain Marvel. Uh, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, who's played by Iman Vellani. Very uh, fun, enjoyable, likable character as well. You know, if you watch the other Miss Marvel series, you know, you could tell how fun uh, that character, you know, really is. Of course, uh, she's a you know teenage uh, human mutant from Jersey City. She idolizes Captain Marvel, and you know just you know Miss Marvel Kamala is just very likable. 
you know, very fun, you know, personality that she has. Uh, the only uh, weakest uh, part of the film, in my opinion, is uh, the villain, Dar Ben, played by Zawi Ashton. I didn't think, you know, she was that menacing to, uh, you know, Carol and Monica and Kamala that, you know, they could just, you know, go after her and, you know, pose as a threat to, uh, you know, three to three women. But my opinion, she was the, uh, the weakest part of the film. Uh, you also have uh, Park Seo Joon, who plays uh, Prince Yan, who is uh, the prince of the planet Aladon. I think that's how you pronounce uh, the name of the planet. And, you know, we had all three women go into that planet. And, yeah, one scene, I'll give, I'll give away a spoiler here. Uh, there's one scene where they get to the planet and they're just singing because uh, Captain Marvel, you know, Brie Larson, is pretty much a god on the planet. And we also find out, you know, she is married to uh, Prince Jan. And I'm like... When they start singing, I'm like, am I watching a Marvel film or am I watching a musical? You know, <laughs> but I just found that seemed to be, you know, a little bit corny, uh, in my opinion. Uh, you have Samuel Jackson reprises his role as Nick Fury. Of course, it's always great to see Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury. Uh, he, his character is now working... At Saber, which is, you know, with the skull with the scrolls. You also have Goose in there, Goose the Cat, who is a flurkin. Of course, uh, Goose stole uh, the show in the first uh, Captain Marvel film. And of course, Goose is, you know, the cat, the flanken, who, you know, deploys long tentacles from inside you know, her mouth to store objects in her stomach. <laughs> and you get, you know, one scene, you know, with the with all the cats, they hatch from, uh, you know, this egg. And they're just like goose. They're, they're flurkins. Well, you know, don't want to give away, you know, what happens, you know, with the cats, though. But <laughs> it's funny. It's a little cute as well. But the Marvels... You know, I would say check it out. Uh, you know, it's worth watching. It's a fun, you know, Marvel film, even though it's not one of their best. Uh, but like I said, if you haven't watched Captain Marvel or haven't seen, you know, Miss Marvel, uh, definitely uh, don't watch the film. Watch, uh, you know, Captain Marvel and then watch uh, Miss Marvel, the miniseries on Disney Plus, and then come back and, you know, watch this film. So that's my recommendation. Because then you're going to be lost about, oh, why, you know, what is Miss Marvel doing here? You know, what's her backstory? Go watch the uh, the miniseries. And then you'll know about her, you know, about her family and how she got, you know, one of the uh, the quantum bands. So, but overall, the Marvels, very fun film. But in my opinion, not one of Marvel's. Marvel's best films. But anyways, that's it for my review of the Marvels. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And won't be doing a Monday Night Raw review uh, this Monday. So there will be no review of that. I know I didn't review SmackDown last night because it went head-to-head -head, uh, with uh, AEW Collision. So I didn't want to, you know, just watch one and watch, you know, one on my phone. So I would have been like, oh, well, SmackDown was, you know, this, AEW Collision was that. But SmackDown, in my opinion, was very meh last night. AEW Collision, you know, I'm finishing, I'm finished watching it right now. Collision has been the better, Collision was the better show, in my opinion. So and even Rampage was, you know, decent last night. I got some enjoyment out of it. But anyways, that's it for this uh, video. 
and I'll see you all later.